Okay, now here's the update of the update. Quick tip number three, Edit Edger's mystery is now history. I've received some info last night from Ben Vos, the creator of the fabulous Lightwave online manual. And uh, yeah, I wanted to take the opportunity to record this short tip so it's clear for everybody how it actually works. Basically, all we have to do is we just activate Edit Edges. You can see that if you hover your mouse over an edge, you can see that orange circle in the center. And by the way, as this is Lightwave 2018, it also does it in symmetry. And we'll see that in a second. Now, the way it works is we have to left click on edge, then control, click and drag over an edge. And there we go. It moves the edge everywhere. And, uh, can see it does it also in symmetry. Let me rotate this around so you can see this a little bit better. There. So yeah, that's how this works. If I let go of control, it moves the entire edge loop. Okay. Um, one more little thing. I received a couple of posts from Rene, the Lightwave guru, and the problem with him is when he says something, you take it seriously. So he had me doubting for a while because he said, Haha, you are in polygon mode. Of course it doesn't work. You have to be in edge mode. Dear Rene, thank you very much for making me doubt. But if I enter edge mode and I select three or, my, or four edges and use edit edges, yes, the edges are highlighted. No problem there, but the problem is if I click and control click, it still only moves one edge. So there's really no difference, Rene, if we are in edge mode or polygon mode. It's the same thing. All right, let's undo that. Now, as Eric Kulst also rightfully said on the forum, um, we also have other tools. We have um, D-Uni slide and W-Edge slide. And I also wanted to take the opportunity to show you these tools again back to back. So, D-Uni slide. If we select edges, four edges selected, and we activate D-Uni slide, and I'll hit N for numeric, we can interactively move. What it doesn't do, you can see it here, it doesn't work in symmetry unfortunately, but hey, you can't have it all. But you can see I can move four edges. Let me undo that. There we go. Deselect, switch off symmetry mode. Do it again. Four edges selected, de-uni slide, click and drag. That's how it works. Okay. Undo that. One more thing. If you just select a point and you go back into the uni slide, it has the auto merge feature here, which sometimes can actually be really helpful. And that means if you slide the point over and let go, you can see at a hundred on this case, yeah, it's a hundred percent. Um, it merges the points together, but it's interactively. So unless I drop the tool, I can still move this around. That's pretty nifty actually. Okay. Let's undo that. Um, when it comes to W edge slide, it took me quite a while to understand this tool, although it's not very complicated, but that's just me because it's called W edge slide, but in order to use it, you actually have to select points. So with those four points selected, there we go. Uh, I can slide those points, not edges. Problem is, that's not a problem, but it doesn't work interactively. So with WH slide, I have to do it with the GUI, the little box here. And that's how that works. Okay, and that's about it for this time. Thank you very much for watching this and bye bye.